So we have a difficult situation here. We've now encountered significant invasion. So we're going to put a tattoo, uh, and that will form a marker for our colleagues when they go in to remove this end block in a radical fashion. So I'll show the technique of how we place a tattoo. So now we will inject and create a submucosal blood with a normal injecting solution, needle out. Inject. 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 Okay, stop, stop. The so needle stays out now, just change your silly. So we're going to use a tattoo now, black eye, which gives a very good tattooing. And now I'll put my needle back into this blood and inject the tattoo. So just inject 2 ml please. Stop 2 ml? Yep, just short 2 ml. Okay. Okay, and now change the syringe back to the normal injecting solution and keep the needle out. Yep. And inject 2 ml. And now we'll do exactly similar tattoo on the other side. So can we empty the catheter first? Yeah, inject. So that we get all the tattoo out. Need allow. Inject please. Inject. Stop. Stop. And change to tattoo. Inject. Inject him. 2 ml. Inject him. 2 ml. Okay. okay. Change over and flush another 2 ml with our flushing solution. Inject him. 2 ml. Give him. Okay. One more ml. One more. And stop. Yeah. Stop. Okay. Go back. Okay. Yeah. Get it up. So we got two tattoos diagonally opposite to each other. They're a little bit bigger than what I would normally want, but in, if the patients are going for a radical resection, then it doesn't really matter. So uh, a submucosal lip followed by tattoo uh, on the anal side. And we'll put this in the report so there will be no confusion. Thank you.